a little bit of a frustrating result last time out. Didn't, didn't go the way you wanted, I guess. Uh, you know, what was the process of kind of moving past that? Did it take you a while? Or um, yeah, I, I was obviously gutted. Um, I was really enjoying that fight, and uh, I think everybody else was enjoying that fight as well. And um, unfortunately, I just made a mistake against one of the best guys in the world, and I paid for it. So I learned a lesson, and um, yeah, I just took some time off, really. Just uh, it's the first time I've had a decent amount of time off in my career, so it was like just a reset, and I uh, kept training, and here I am again. Uh, yeah, not for lack of trying. I was trying to fight earlier, but um, this is how it is. Yeah, I was going to ask you the seven months away. Was that so? That wasn't by design. You want? Nah, I, d I definitely didn't want seven months away. That was that was a while. Um, I was trying to fight after about three, three, three to four, um, but you know, there's only 15 guys in the ranking. You know, one, two get matched up, two more get matched up, you're starting to lose some guys. And when you're 14, the guys at the front of the pack obviously are out of the question. Um, so you get pretty limited about who you can fight. So that's why it was taking a while. So what do you think when the, the name Jalen Turner came across? Yeah, I, ju I just said that, um, you know, if, if no one's uh, available who's ranked, I'll fight anybody. Like, I, I want to fight. Like, I'm a fighter's fighter. And uh, they sent me Jalen Turner's name. I said, cool. I signed it. No stress. What have you thought of his uh, recent run? He's had a, a you know great little win streak going on. Yeah, yeah, he's doing really well. Uh, he's had some good wins, a couple of good stoppages. Um, but I, I'm a different caliber of fighter. You know, I don't, I believe I'm well above the skill level um, of him, and this is going to be a very, very hard test for him. Right, last thing for me, I mean, on paper it does appear that it could be an exciting fight, but are you saying? No, don't expect an exciting fight. Like, I'm going to go out there and, and dominate this guy? I'm going to go out there and, and yeah, sh show, show what I'm made of. Like, um, I just think I'm on another level. And being in the rankings, it's, it's hard. You know, and he's more than welcome to come and try, but it's not going to happen this week. Brad, can you just tell us what this week is like for you? Obviously, it's a, it's a big night for the team and everything, just having your prep sync up like this, how exciting is it and how beneficial is it being to your camp? That's great. Uh, the best thing about it is that people can travel again from our country, so we have like a massive group here. It's nice to have that. Feels a bit more homely. Before this, it was like, um, you know, it sort of it made it a little more like work orientated, like everything was just a job, a job, a job, each fight during COVID, but now it's like an experience again, having everybody here, having all the hype. I had the guys, uh, you know, we're all in camp together. Definitely um, propels you along. Uh, it's a lot more enjoyable, man. Yeah, it's good. How do you think your guys win their fights? <sighs> well, I like, you know, Israel tends to um, bring to fruition what he says. So he says he's going to shut Kananir out. So, I, yeah, I'm going to bet my money on that. And uh, Volk's had some, you know, close fights with Max, but I think he's just... He's sick of having those close fights, and he's gonna, you yeah, know, he's gonna have an awesome shutout out too. And having this on ABC, I don't know how much you know that means on your side of the world, but obviously right. here it's very significant. Um, has anyone kind of informed you, like how much, how many more eyeballs are going to be on this fight now? Yeah, I, I had no idea what ABC was. Uh, my my partner's American, so she like got that through to me. How how much of a big deal that is. So that's pretty cool to be on that. I'm pretty um, happy that they put me there. And uh, yeah, I mean, exposure is key in the sport. The more people that see you, the better you're going to do in your life. Cool.